Hi guys, my name is Anne. Thank you for joining me. I wanted to come on and give an energy update, if you will, for what I'm experiencing really in the past week and uh, likely what many may anticipate coming forward. So it has been a very interesting ride. I kind of liken it to a an elevator ride where you rise up in the levels, you get to one floor and you wander around that floor and you get what you need and you learn what you need to and maybe one floor is research and then you go to the next floor and you understand what that floor is offering and so on and so forth. So it is sort of an up and down process because you don't really stay on the same floor all the time. But it seems that we continue to raise and push the boundaries of the floors that we we get to and each time we do that there is a another level of awareness and and, and higher consciousness and information that uh, intuitively uh, comes to us and really since um, last Thursday there has been this incredible blast. Now that day for me was significant. I was actually traveling um, to have lunch um, with my daughter. It was a beautiful day and it hit me. Uh, it was an unbelievable feeling. I'm driving and um, it's, you know, luckily she understands, uh, at least knows what um, I'm about and kind of going through. <laughs> But um, it's interesting how it can just take your breath away in some cases where your linear thinking is initially um, challenged quite a bit because you feel this higher consciousness energy sort of streaming in and you really have to stay grounded if you're doing activities that really require um, your uh, logic brain. So that's when it really started and, and it was uh, a day of another big shift in my mind and really some, where we needed to um, really understand how to navigate sort of this, this higher level, um, what I refer to as sometimes there's dizziness and vertigo and um, when we hit these big streams up it can make you feel sort of uneased and, um, and, and dizziness or vertigo, as I said, kicks in. So it's really important to remember to learn how to um, understand when you're feeling this way and to get some grounding techniques. There's a lot of information online. For me personally, uh, just being outside or near water, walking on the grass, or just bonding with Mother Nature is one of the key things for me personally. So through the week we go, and as you go through this process, it starts as a really um, zippity zoo high, and then you're starting to really integrate this new knowledge. And along with that has come some significant um, crown chakra activations. I've noticed sort of really the tingling in the third eye and, and headaches that come and, come and go and uh, just sort of like a little nudge to say, you know, stuff is happening. Um, also, there has been just an extreme amount of synchronicities for me personally with the numbers of 144 and 1212 and, and 333. So those have been popping up all over the place for me. And um, I know that that is definitely showing us that there is, it's, it's a greater power, it's a greater consciousness. And again, when we feel sometimes lost and confused with all of this, I believe that those are reminders to let us know that we are all going through similar, different stages maybe, but, but similar uh, parts of the process. Because it is quite similar as you go through floors um, it tends to get a little bit easier as you start to understand it, but it doesn't get any less intense. Um, uh, I know with me that uh, memory has been a really interesting experience because 
uh, I'm finding myself uh, floating backwards into memories from uh, childhood and to remembering things that happened when I was younger and random thoughts come up and I'm also feeling that a lot of what I thought would be memories that I would hang on to are, are sort of disappearing. So it's less intense. And I think the purpose of that is it's sort of allowing me to move more into uh, the unknown and creating some more space there. So it's a little bit unnerving because um, we, we put so much into holding space in our memories of things, hopefully things that we really enjoy. Now they haven't all disappeared. It's just that it's less intense, um, especially the things that happened that were more on the traumatic side. I also found though that there is a level as we, this, this bigger shift comes up, there's this level of calmness that you can really dig into and realize that it's all within your thoughts. So we can really feel like, although we know all of this crazy stuff is happening all around us, this chaos, if you will, it is purely in how you um, ground yourself and how you can remain, remain calm in the face of this adversity. And uh, I think that's really when we know we are making um, significant progress. Now, I'm, I'm noticing as well what used to be called grassroots. So when things um, were brought up from the grassroots, from the base, from, from sort of the non-political side, um, I'm feeling more and more of this in every in every day, even in, in small things within the media, just people and life is shifting in general to this more uh, higher consciousness thinking that is coming up through the ground up. And that is the most powerful type of shift ever because it's being supported by our thoughts and our, our collective thinking and our collective desire to want to move um, this earth to a better place. Now, again, we have to really keep in mind that it's not, it's, there's going to be a lot that's happening around us and perhaps things that we don't even anticipate, but, but pe keeping in that calmness and that knowledge that this is all this is all happening for a very important reason. So it has been really, really intense. And it is, it's, it's like the rules, I was trying to figure out a way to sort of explain this before I, I came on and did this, but it's like the rules are being written as we go much earlier in the process, um, you know, t like t 10 years ago for me, it really started. Um, maybe six years ago, I, I kind of really understood what was sort of happening more, if that makes any sense. Like I, I, kinda, I kind of got really clear, intuitive readings. Like there was just this knowledge I had that was much more clear than, than now. And it's almost like, the rules are being written as we go because it's so new that there really isn't anything to fall back on as a precedent for what is happening here. And it's like, well, we know it's a collective mindset that creates this change. And there's so many people at different levels um, of creating and, and thinking. But we are creating the rules as we go. It is so very new and we really have to you know, keep in mind that all of this, what appears to be um, confusion, again, we need to come back to our sense of calmness. Now, this is easier said than done. I mean, I come on here and I, I, I try to be very uh, forthcoming with what is coming in for me. And I try to make these videos when I have something um, important to say. 
because uh, the process continues to be very up and down. Even within this one week, it has been an extremely up and down week. I mean, but if you're looking in at my life, it seems like, you know, um, pretty mundane. So uh, how the perception of others appears to you and your perception of what is happening in the world are two very, very different things. It is certainly nice to know there's such fantastic group of people who are sending me some amazing comments and it makes me emotional but thank you because I also have a tough time uh, on this journey from time to time there's a lot of crazy and intense energy and I I continue to go through this uh, roll back in time sometimes and to dig even deeper into what I thought that I had cleared like it's like is there anything left in me you know um, it doesn't scare me as much because I know now that as I go deep um, and as I get more of this clarity then uh, I, I go a little bit higher so it's really moving sort of fast um, but thank you thank you so much you keep me going where most all the people that I am in physical contact or association with um, don't don't understand at, at all so and I don't mind that it's okay I don't try to explain myself I know that I have a soul connection with all of you in a network that we have and we are all on this important journey um, together so again thank you very much all I can say is we kind of knew that you know this is going to be a crazy year and July does not let us down uh, I find myself you know making more spur of the moment um, plans than long term because it's really a lot based on how I feel I can tell you my energy levels have been a little bit better for the most part today um, not so much but uh, certainly more energetic and a little bit into sort of organizing things which um, and getting sort of clutter control and that kind of thing which uh, I'd rather be doing that than um, um, you know be uh, be in a tired mode because it's the weather is such that you want to be doing things that are outside anyway enough of that stick with the program I don't know here we are a big stuff is happening there is definitely some huge activity going on especially I'm feeling it today big time um, it, like there, I, I don't know exactly what it is, but um, I'm getting, there are some real foundational, well, I certainly know with the, with um, sort of the, uh, the earthquake activity that, that really is foundational, but not just it, literally, but, but figuratively too in the status of some of these really hidden secrets this hidden information um, and it's all coming out so I can feel the extreme intensity of that emotionally anyhow that's what I have for you today I uh, I appreciate you watching me certainly if you resonate um, Subscribe to my channel and uh, and like. Thanks for watching.